way back. Gonna knock over a few real quick quests here. Just the, um, there we go. Yeah, there's a couple of level 11 quests here in Loch Medan. Rat catching, blood sausages, and, um, if we happen to be conveniently hitting some level 12s at the same time, we'll do it. Um, but I really don't want to leave it too long until we get back and get our revenge on Hogger. So we're going to quickly try and knock these over. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Had to take a longer break than I wanted um, in between recording. I feel like I've lost a little bit of time. And again, it's uh, say this is the morning light. Which means it's uh, a little bit later here. Oh, how am I missing so many times? This guy's just level 10. Yeah, I'm expecting this to be pretty relaxing until we head over to Hogger. Most of these uh, beasties that we're going to be trying to fight are definitely lower level than us. And it's not like it's a, uh, a very packed area. Someone's talking smack to me in um, guild chat. I have no idea who that is. I don't have anything weird to say, so... Let's just ignore them for now. Continue on our slaughter of the animals in the area. Here's our first spider ricker. This is very nice. I remember the last time I was here, uh, again referencing um, the unofficial servers. Um, oh, this guy's not attacking me. What's going on? Uh, this place would always be packed be so hard to get tags here. Here's our first tin vein. Okay, I'm, I'm reading this guild chat. Apparently there's more people playing here that... Uh, know who I am than I expected. They're not all using familiar names though. I'm not too sure who's who. Can always figure that out later. Keeping an eye out for treasure chests around here. I know there's some um, potentials to spawn. These little um, areas where these guys congregate, their little houses or whatever. <laughs> For those that don't know, um, I run a team in the current classic Wrath of the Lich King. I've just got someone suggesting to me that we uh, finish up there, just kill the team and uh, bring it all over to hardcore. I don't know about that. I <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, that is a good way to lose half your roster in a day. Quite happy to uh, not worry about... Is everyone going to show up? To oh, I, I wasn't even looking at my health. Yeah, we're going to use a potion here, just a little crappy one. No reason not to. Still got our bubble as well if we need it. You know, let's just do this. Oh, he's running away. And so are we. So are we. Lay on hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. Never take your eyes off the action. Too many people trying to have a chit-chat. 
there is our first lesson of the day. Concentrate at all times. Ooh, okay. They used pretty much every, uh, <laughs> every oh shit button that I had there. Uh, but we're nice and, um, we're nice and settled then. Let's get back onto the grind. Getting a few laughs from people. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure they would have loved, um, knowing that they were the ones that got me killed. I'm talking. What's this fella doing? Yeah, he's gonna go for that spider. So there's one person in the area that's on the same quest as me. I do wonder what this would be like um, in the prime time. I imagine there'd be quite a lot of people camping here, waiting for respawns. God, what an end. What an end to the journey that would have been. <laughs> Always concentrate, folks. Always concentrate. It's one thing about um, paladins in this. Just the pain of seeing a dodge when your attack speed is so slow. 10, 5, 10. What are we looking for here? Scouts and what? Scouts and trogs. Seems like we've mostly got scouts over here. See a uh, pop of aim. Try and get that. So we've got so many scouts, we are looking out for trogs. So we've got one trog there. That's going to be... Seems like the trogs are the ones that are hanging around the houses a bit more. This uh, is not a patrol. Kind of looked like he might be one. Not taking any chances here. Slowly clear it out and uh, slowly make our way in. Fairly confident um, if I'm full health when I start, I can take out two at a time here. And I think I'm going to have to. In fact, it could be more than that. This could be real hard to not pull three. Test it out. Ready to run if I have to. Not this direction. That's going to go straight into the uh, tunnel right over there. So this is a good time. There we go. Nice and safe. Probably going to have to uh, kill both of those at the same time, though. We're nowhere near 50% health um, from fighting one of those, so... Actually... If I can get him before that um, comes back. His range, though. Here we go. We can pick him off when he comes around. And this is how we're going to get our trogs. Need 10 of each, so this is going to get us up to 8. It's, it's not enough here to finish. Just going to have to have a bit of a look around. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Judging off the previous battles, this should be totally fine. Unless we keep missing. Bring that mini potion. We need to stop getting so risky. What do we have here? Leather chest, not quite as good as what we got. Oh, when did we get this? Looks identical to what we're already wearing. It's another scout, though. Um, I do want to get that last troll. 
but I am uh, very aware that respawns are going to be coming in fast. Let's do a little, little heal, little baby heal. We'll tag this guy and take him all the way out. Make sure we have an escape path. There we go. So we need one more trog and one more scout. <laughs> and that's exactly what's in front of us. So starting off with a judgment, that was 30 damage. Right. Is that what oh, is aggroed? saying just judging off a seal of righteousness rather than queuing up a, a seal of the crusader to judge that honestly it probably does end the, the fight faster doing it that way we finished our teeth collecting quests so it's all of our trog stuff in one go so we're going to be back to collecting pieces of animals oh level hit level 15 left hunt has died in the guild don't know who he is uh, but rest in peace. Two hundred and seventy-six deadliest in Azeroth. I wonder what the trogs are. Twenty-third. So the stone, stone splinter scout is the twenty-third. This is the sixty-first. The trog, most dangerous creature in Azeroth. I think that's less about how dangerous they are and more that they're here in groups. And um, they're here in groups, and this is probably a level where people just start getting a little bit complacent. You've been feeling like you've been flying along in the previous uh, areas, and this is where, like, the first kind of area where you're starting to get a little bit of a challenge. Things are taking a little bit longer to kill. I guess it's, uh, I shouldn't say this is the first place, because Westfall is the equivalent of where we are, and everyone knows how dangerous Westfall is. I do have a recollection of these tunnel rat ears being a real shitty drop rate. Uh, and I also feel like there might have been a quest. Another quest or two that's sort of linked up and tells you to go into the rat area. So maybe we'll be able to combine that quest with another one. It's our second Ica. Happy about that. Is that a bit of lag or something? I felt like it took forever for that uh, judgment to come out. our bag space going still plenty of room yeah so that's 31 so if we're doing nine and then we're doing 12 so that's three that means we'd have to we'd have to hit 10 times to make up for that initial seal of righteous judgment so that makes me think my seal of the crusader unless it's something that's going to live for a long time just ain't going to be worth doing my fingers are used to doing it, though. This will be a battle between fingers versus brain. And I imagine fingers will probably win more often than the brain does. I mean, this guy's right in front of us. We might as well give him a little judgment. See if he happens to drop a, a rat here. Oh, that's a big hit. And the parry, uh... Well, there we are. There's our first ear. We're going to test if we're... Oh, see, there you go. Fingers took over the brain. Changed my seal. Going to test if we're going to have a hot streak here or not. you got to be in it to win it. And it is not a hot streak. Confirmed. Not a hot streak. Move along. I'm sure we'll get to those ears. I 
and get these two quests done so we can go and kick the crap out of Hogger. Oh, two health. These guys seem to be having some issues uh, with meat. Apparently there's no meat on their bodies. This guy, let me guess, you don't have any intestines in your body? I guess the law behind stuff like that, where you don't get something that's uh, really obvious that uh, every creature would have, um, is that you must you must damage it in some way as you're, uh, as you're killing it. And I have noticed the copper vein. Doesn't look, it's looking pretty deserted, so I think I'm, uh, I'm good to take my time working my way over there. Come on, keep up with me. We are back to our old ways of having everything survive on one or two health. I did not miss uh, those days. We'll make do with what we have. Inventory's full. Hmm. Do we have anything that we don't need? Boar ribs, I don't think. No, it's boar intestines we're looking for. Thing. Yeah, it's probably the thing to throw. It's not going to give us any more bag space if we do this. Actually, it will now. I'll get rid of the rough stones we have. Um, is there anything else that would be good to chuck out? Final eggs don't seem to be very valuable. the more I think about this uh, yes we have a slot free but then if we ever try to mine anything we're not going to have room to pick up the stones so it's kind of uh, here we go I am sealing crusader again just out of habit much of a muchness though it's probably the difference of one attack oh my goodness and three levels above this guy. It's just dodge, parry, dodge, parry. Gonna need to need you to give me some bear meat. Now with a black bear. No mucking around anymore. I got things to do. I have reached out to some buddies. I think they're all um, a bit higher level than me at the moment. But I plan to do a fair bit of World of Warcraft over the next couple of days and hopefully get into that level range to run our first dungeon. I'm assuming it'll be Wailing Caverns into Dead Mines, probably. Or at least one of the two. Um, and that should be some fun. It will be uh, quite refreshing to not be the only voice here. Check the for me. I don't need this. That's it doesn't sell for much. I'm very much looking forward to that. Getting some um, new voices on here, so it's not just me. I don't know if it will be um, quite as chill. So if you are listening to this and watching this because um, just enjoying the, the, the chill atmosphere and relaxing, maybe it'll be a little bit different. Um, but we'll see how it goes. If it's not your kind of thing, having uh, multiple people and having a bit more of a laugh, you can always skip skip the episode. Meanwhile, we've got a bit of a shortage of animals at the moment. Is there more across the road over there? I am also working my way up here to uh, hand in this quest as well as pick up a couple new ones. Slowly working in a line. There's another death in the guild. He's level 33. 
died in Scarlet Monastery. Wow. I wonder if uh, that's the whole group or if it's just him. It's a druid, so he might have been their tank. Might have been the healer. That is the danger of doing dungeons. It's such, such a massive risk. And, um... I mean, for, for, for melee classes, for physical classes, like uh, paladins, obviously, warriors, um, hunters, having those upgrades from the dungeons is really important if you want to level up quickly. Um, if you're a caster, like I was with my warlock, it, it honestly... I honestly couldn't really tell the difference between when I was getting dungeon gear compared to just quest greens. Oh, here's another! At this time, it's a level 38 Paladin in Scarlet Monastery, so that is... It's looking like it's a full group wipe. People are typing in Guild, it's a massacre. Oh, no. That's terrible. Trying to see, get some more information on what's going down. The, the people that are dying are not responding. Could be some bitterness going on. Here we go. We've got our first response from the Paladin. Tanked wiped us, I think, on purpose. That sounds like it must be a pretty toxic group if your tank is purposely wiping you, killing himself in the process. And I'm glad, very glad that I'm not there. Huh? Jeez, we're constantly on struggle street with the um inventory right now i'd only just cleaned it up to uh, 68 for this one that's pretty good all right so we didn't complete any of the uh the above uh, quests for the animals or the rats but we're here we'll see what else we're picking up here There is a vendor as well, Talk excellent. Need, um, I know I've, I've already got the add-on that lets you automatically sell... Um, automatically sell your junk. Which I probably should enable. I just never get around to it. I've got an upgrade here, didn't even notice. Very minor upgrade. Keeping our stone, small venom sack, I think that's... Something to do with um, um, first aid, isn't it? I think you can make poison, anti-poison, whatever, with that. So hold on. Is it? Yeah, it's it's mostly crafting stuff, I guess, along with um, needing like four different uh, items okay. along the way for a quest. That's what's filling our bag up so much. Mega sister has arrived. Talk to me. Aha! So Grimman finally finished my axe. I can't wait to try it against some trogs and kobolds. Ooh. Many thanks, adventurer. It was a long distance to travel for this delivery. Here are some coins for your effort. That's right. I have a task that I can't do while I'm guarding. In fact, it'll take you far from Loch Modan. Your perfect chance for adventure. There is a dwarven armor smith whose work I admire greatly. His name is Furin Longbeard, and his skill is unmatched. I need a new shield, and I must have one of his. The problem is, Furin is far to the south in the Dwarven district within Stormwind, in human land. I can't imagine why he would live there so far from Ironforge. The humans must pay him a king's ransom to keep him there. So if you want to travel and don't mind making some money, then will you send Furin my request for a shield? The silver stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot. But now kobolds have moved in, putting their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want cohorts at your side. The gear is stored in Miners League crates throughout the mine. Good luck. He is very animated. This guy's gonna live on one or two health. Ah, 13 this time. 
feels a little less bad than one or two. Oh, there's our second bear meat. Let's go, hot streak. Just one more. Look at that beautiful axe. Still wearing our leather pants. Um, that's another reason we should do Hogger and get these lovely three strength male pants. That would be curing our situation of um, everything surviving on one health. That extra three strength should be enough to push us over. And sure enough, we've picked up the quest that I was thinking of that's um, sending us in here to get this mining gear. I mean, we should be able to get rat ears a long way. bit more selective on what we're pulling. Go pig after this. We might try and take a swing around there. It is a level 15 quest though. Um, we are level 13. I, I have a feeling the rats that are inside and this actually might be the case. Maybe the rats that are inside a higher level. I don't know if they're going to drop ears. But we're going to find out. Excellent. Now all we can see is spiders, but spiders are the one thing we don't need anymore. Tends to be what happens if you've got a quest where you've got to kill um, three different type of things, and one of them has a uh, higher drop rate than the others. Um, people stop killing that one, but if they all share a spawn, uh, spawn um, let's say, all right, Monster X can spawn where the spider is, but it could be a spider, a pig, or a bear. If no one needs spiders anymore, they start skipping killing the spiders. Um, all of a sudden, you've got nothing but spiders around. And the only way to get the other ones to come back is to do the, do the rounds and um, just kill a bunch of spiders. Son of Diablo, level 17 Warlock. Rest in peace. Um, so this mining gear... Okay, these higher level rats are giving us ears, so this could be better. I'm hoping they're a better drop rate, too. Not sure why it's a level 15 quest, though. This doesn't seem too bad. They're only like, um... 13 so far. 12 and 13. This does look like a patrol. We're going to wait for him to come around. Oh, if only line of sight was a thing. Oh, well, line of sight is a thing, but in terms of aggro... Here you go. Yeah, get your butt over here. And I really need just a normal interrupt that isn't on a one minute cooldown. In fact, I probably shouldn't interrupt with the stun because something might happen and I need that stun to escape and I won't have it because I've used it on an interrupt that wasn't really necessary. So again, we're going to try and fight our nature. Hold on to those. As well as that, even though it looks unnecessary, we're going to do little top-ups of our health whenever we have to. Oh, okay, so he's only casting a fire shield. There's one more um, quest item there. I need to turn on um, floating combat text, like for um, damage taken. I'm interested to see like how much damage I'm taking from the uh, fire shield and stuff like that. Yeah, it shows me in the top left on my character, uh, my portrait. It's just more convenient if it's on the screen. There's a lot of uh, UI gurus out there. I know what. I'm a bit more of a whatever type of guy. I just use what's um, mostly uh, UI of uh, default with the game. Whereas uh, there are a lot of people that their eyes would be burning and bleeding uh, from looking at default UI. They just can't handle it. Can't handle the simplicity of default. But you're coming anyway. I wanted to see if I could get my camera to sneak around the corner there, see if I'm um, clearing this for no reason or not. 
Now, since I'm the only one in here, that should mean that um, respawns are a little bit more controlled. However, I'm still going to keep my eye open for them. I don't think there's a quest item here. At any rate, we'll continue going in. Oh. So the quest items are actually respawning faster than the enemies. Or oh, am I wrong? There is a respawned enemy there. So let's just go back. Instead of having something respawn and jump out at us. Oh, and here's our last... Uh, last quest item. This is perfect. We're very much short on the rat ears still. And this being a level 11 quest, I think... Um, Considering we're, we're going back to the uh, human zone after this, I think it's pretty safe to say by the time we get back here, this quest will be grey. So I think we should um, do our best. Let's give this five minutes. Five minutes of solid rat killing. See how many ears we can get. Hmm. I mean, we can definitely take two on, so I think we can get this copper vein. Oh. Well, there we go. We're already six of twelve. I'm gonna save my judgment when they're running. Alright, let's go. Looks like there's more veins over here. I don't know if they're above ground or not. Might not be. We're definitely going to pull both, aren't you? Yep. Oh, your poison means nothing to me. Resist. Guess this guy is only one level below me. And plenty of years. We're flying along now. I think uh, we start heading towards those mining nodes. Killing rats along as we go. Might be done. It's going way better than I was anticipating it would. Null the gnome rogue. Level 10. Rest in peace. Jesus, three. Three mining nodes around here. that look like? Oh, yep. Yeah. Wrong class. That is not something a holy paladin would wear. Holy warrior of light. Oh, we're actually really close to here. So my map's telling me this guy sells two green weapons. And I reckon... It's not a bad idea. Go and check that out. They might not be there, but if they are, never know. This is a really good axe. Like I've been really happy with this, so I would be surprised if um, if he does have these green items that they're better. But we'll have a look. Might not even have enough money. You got my attention. Oh, okay. So it is better. This one is at least... Oh, they're both better. 12.5. Gee. It's plus 6 strength. 73 silver. See you soon. I do like that. I do like that. We've got plus... Um, plus maces as well as human. 73 silver, remember that number. Come a running back. We are able to... Ah, uh... oh, but then again... Nah, that's not going to work. It's not going to work at all because... Um, level 14, we're going to have new skills to learn. And that's probably going to send us broke anyway. So it's a good thought, but I don't think it happens. Hey, if we hit it rich somehow, 
in between now and then. Maybe we'll come back and buy that. that that's a lot of strength on it. It's nothing to sneeze at. Come on, start giving me these ears again. Might be because we're back out into the uh, lower level rats. The ears, uh, ear drop rate seems to have fallen off a little bit. But maybe, excuse me, maybe it hasn't fallen off. Maybe we just had a little bit of bad luck there. Only needing two more. Let's roll the dice and see if we can get it. I wonder where this second one is. It must be inside the cave. Oh, that was not the right button. Well, that's two silver right there. I do think we can get to 70 silver. I just think um, we, we won't have anything for, for skills after that. Hmm. We need a bore intestine still as well. Let's swing back around to the higher level rats just in case it makes a difference. Um Oh, what's going on here? Two Gagale and Bonze. Two gnomes dead together. Just based on their location, I can only assume they were running out of the mine. And they didn't make it. Um, I do not want a triple pull here. But I also don't think there's any more rats uh, as we go out. This is fine, this is fine. It's not running. And I'm going to miss and parry. One more year to go. stumbled across another copper vein. I can't see it yet, but I know it's there. Oh, oh what did I just press? Just Oh, that was my one good potion. I have to stop fat fingering. And uh, taking my hand off the keyboard, chilling with my paladin uh, auto attacks. Right, so I wasn't looking, but we have completed the quest. So we're going to grab this. And... I'm going to head over and turn in Filthy Paws. We're going to try and get our last four intestine on the way back. Turn all that in. Then we're heading back. We're going to hearth to Stormwind and we're going to take our revenge. Augur, it's time. You were laughing the last time we met. As I ran away to the guards for assistance. Only to not get kill credit because I had barely scratched you. This is going to be different. I'm not using a 3 DPS uh, one-handed mace anymore, Hogger. Mega Sister has evolved. Whole different being now. Started getting talent points. Unleash the holy light on you. Take revenge for myself and all the other people that uh, thought they wanted a challenge and tried to fight you early and died because of it. End your reign of terror, Hogger. So. Keep selling stuff. Oh, that's a lot of healing on a banana. Is that it? Is that all we can really sell? Well, luckily we're going to a major city soon. We can chuck um, 
some of this stuff in the bank. Oh, whoops. I reckon we must be pretty close to having enough copper as well to, um... Oh, did you see a lot of kobolds in there? I can't wait for the order to clear them out of the mine! The thought of their big... grimy hands clawing around our mine makes my stomach rumble! It's gotta be the chest, right? The bucklers, interesting, because uh, I would like some spirit because there's potential that I'll be healing at some point. But this is just such an upgrade. 4 stamina, 40 health. Gotta go to the chest, right? And right now I, I don't need, I don't have a reliable one-handed weapon, so by the time I get one, I might have a better shield. Be so good. let's take the guaranteed upgrade. And sell the old one. I'm the finest words at all. Work with you. Alright. Now we are level 14, getting one step closer to being within dungeon range. I'm guessing we probably want to do it at around, uh, sort of like, either very high teens or low 20s. Don't want to do it so late that you're not even getting experience in there, that would suck. I will ask for advice from the guys that um, have been playing before me. Give me your intestine, please. What's it called? Mountain. Oh, here we go. Intestine. Nope. Hey, okay, there's currently no boars in the vicinity. Now there is. There it is. Keeping an eye out for uh, the next boar, if we need to chain, this doesn't drop it. Of course you know what's going to happen. If this does drop the intestine, we're going to find nothing but boars after this point. <laughs> this guy's a mountaineer. Alright, so no live boars. My map seems to think that I've got a decent chance of finding a boar over here. Where is that? Over there. Kind of an inconvenient direction. Opposite way that we want to be going. The things you do. What the hell? Level one. He's died to falling. That's got to be a suicide. Or he's uh, trying to travel uh, to a different city, and he's royally buggered that up. One of you wants three here. Alright, this is perfect. One of these guys surely has intestines. Oh no, I... About to come under attack by a cat again. I happened to glance in his direction and make eye contact, and that was enough. Oh god, yeah, of course, there are pigs everywhere now. And there's our intestine. Wouldn't you know? So we'll definitely be back for all these other quests. Like I've said already. Got a date with Destiny. It'll be really interesting to see how hard Hogger is, because um, that elite we killed in um, the... Oh, this guy's going to start talking, isn't he? Great to meet. Ugh! When I asked for those ears, I didn't realise they'd smell so bad. Here's your reward, adventurer. Well done. Um, when we killed that elite in the uh, snow area... That felt a lot easier than I remember Hogger being, so... But it was supposed to be a one level higher quest. 
Um, why was I in here? What can I do for you? Can you give me? You cannot train me in anything. That's fine. Where's my mining at? Seventy. I'm one off. I am literally one off. Uh, learning something off him. I don't even know if there's a. Uh, oh no, over here. This will do it. This is only green, so won't necessarily give me a level up. I'll try though. Last chance. No dice. Oh well. Can always come back. This guy's going to give us a food recipe that we will probably never use. Great. Trust me. It seems a lot harder than it looks. But oh, I've never known someone to take much interest in the making of sausages. But I'll give you the recipe just in case. Here you go. Mind you eat them fresh. We turn these two in. They're going to give us follow-up quests, which we're going to ignore. And we'll half back. I think uh, this will be a pretty uneventful run. So I'll, I'll see you at the end of this run. How are I am quite impressed, adventurer. You have done the dwarven race a great favor by defending our lands. King Magni Bronzebeard himself would be proud. Well done, adventurer! You demonstrated uncanny courage on the battlefield! Our war against the Trogs will be won with efforts such as yours. You have served King Magne well. If you fancy yourself well suited for this kind of adventuring, I suggest you speak with Mountaineer Gravelgoth. The captain has him assigned to a rough patrol that I am sure he can use some help with. Check with Gravelgoth just inside the tower. Mountaineer Cobbleflint had nothing but good things to say about you, person. For that reason, I'm going to entrust upon you a mission of utmost importance. We need to keep pressure on the invading Trog forces until our Dwarven brethren return from the Alliance front. Set forth into the Southern Hills and kill ten Stone Splinter Skull Thumpers and ten Stone Splinter Seers. Your attacks will buy us some time. Report back when your mission is complete. Well, I'll be back, all right, but it'll be a little bit. Hey there. Let's dump some copper. So we've got 71, 81, 91. I think we've got, uh, wait. Probably just short of uh, the copper we need to uh, really start spending that. Uh, hmm. We're out of space, eh? What's in here that we don't know? I mean, look, honestly, this food stuff... If I really want to level up, um, if I really want to start leveling up food, all I, I should just, uh, sorry, not food, level up cooking. All I really need to do is uh, pick up fishing, do it at the same time. See you later. So we'll get rid of that. Um, I also, oh, there's another quest to turn in here apparently, and there, lots of quests. Uh, it's, as well as picking up our talents. Olga's going to have to wait an extra five minutes. And, uh... Let's skip ahead again. What can I... Welcome to the Cathedral of Light, adventurer. Here in Stormwind, I am responsible for putting paladins on the path to greater virtue as they devote themselves to the light and defend Azeroth from the Scourge and other threats. The time has come for you to take your first step towards being truly virtuous. If you accept it, I will give you a book of divinity. In studying it, you shall learn some about the light and what is expected of you. If you understand it and are capable, then you will succeed in attaining greater ability. Hello again, adventurer. How goes your studies of the Tome of Divinity? Then you should be prepared to have yourself tested. There are always tasks to be done throughout the city and our lands. Acts of compassion and understanding, people who need help, creatures to slay, by proving you have the patience to help others, especially those who are less fortunate, you prove that you are a servant of the light and of sound mind. Your task then, adventurer, is to find someone here in Stormwind that is in need of aid, someone who is pure of heart and motive, perhaps someone helping others, perhaps someone in need of a guide. Regardless, the person must have noble intent and be relying on your kindness. Do this and return to me when you are finished. Then we shall discuss more of your path and what it means to be a paladin of the light.
Something tells me that Paladin quest is probably going to be for the Resurrection uh, skill quest. Which is said to be quite useless in Hardcore. Uh, but the Hardcore guys, they didn't know that uh, Negasis Day already has a way to resurrect people. Oh, what the hell? I just saw... What the hell just happened? I just saw like 50 people come online at the same time. It's weird. It's anti oh, anti-venom's level 8. Uh, um, first aid 80. That is a long ways off. I don't think we're going to save this venom sack all the way until then. Although it could be worth something on the auction house. We really need a uh, an auction house add-on, I think. Do some scans, find out... Uh, if anything I'm picking up is valuable Light or not. Alright, so we can sell our shitty bandages now. So we've got some new better ones. 114. About a, a third of our health. A little bit under. God, what I would what I would do for a mount. Level 40 is a long way away. Luckily, I am one of the classes that it's quite easy to get a mount. Will I get all the way to 40? Time will tell. Even just talking with my friends about um, doing some dungeons. Just talking about it so early when I'm only 13, 14, it um, feels like bad juju. Playing uh, dungeons when you're not even that level yet. Feels like a good way to get yourself killed. You got my ah, a request from one of the Storm Pikes. That's a proud clan, full of quality dwarves. Rich ones too. Thank you, adventurer. I'll get to work on Mountaineer Storm Pike's shield by the end of the day. Be careful. Is any of you a vendor? Thought there would be a vendor here. Yeah, blacksmithing supplies. Great to meet you. All right, there's a few things here we don't need. All we're gonna do is keep the ball meat. Get rid of our old bandages. Keep the scrolls just for now. I'm going to quickly go to the auction house, see if this is worth anything. Borbs can go. Watch your back. Watch your back. Collecting memories, 18 plus, that is a, uh, oh, it's a dungeon quest. Have I gone the wrong way to get this? Please just be over here. Yeah, excellent. Many of my friends perished that horrible day when the mine tunnel caved in. If your adventures happen to bring you into that wing of the mine in Moonbrook, please keep an eye out for any sign which might identify them. If you come across any of their miners union cards, bring them back to me and I'll make sure their families get some resolution from this horrible accident. Now, from memory, I think this was one of those quests where it's very difficult or near impossible for a full group to complete in one run, just because there aren't enough drops. So I was tempted to not pick that up. However, we do still have plenty of uh, space for more quests. And you never know, the guys that I might be going with, they might have already done it. Um, because that is one of the new rules with Hardcore. The old hardcore was you could only do a dungeon once, whereas here you've got a daily reset. So you can do one dun uh, each dungeon once a day. So for guys that don't really enjoy questing, maybe they're doing just dungeons. For example, we could bounce from um, Wailing Caverns to Dead Mines, and then uh, then go back the next day, Wailing Cavern, Dead Mines, now we're high enough for Shadowfang Keep. 
just uh, keep rotating it in as a cycle. I don't know if that would be good XP though. Oh, hello, love. How go your adventures? Oh, I'm so glad to hear you're doing well. Oh, me? Uh, thank you for cloth. asking. I'm doing well, all things considered. Oh, I just... The increase oh, in no. tradesmen has kind of put a damper on the amount of leather and cloth people are willing to part with the... I had the ten leather already. I just made all those uh, bandages. That's disappointing. We, I mean my husband and I. He's up in Ironforge trying to seek help from the citizens there. Bless their hearts. Oh, the Most price. of them have no families because of the scourge attacks in the last decade. My husband, John, collects the materials for me to make the shirts and pants for the children, but I haven't even had time to do that. I've been too focused on keeping food on their plates and a roof over their heads. What's that? You'd be willing to help? Oh, thank the light, and thank you, adventurer. If you could bring me some linen cloth so I can sew clothes for the kids, that would help me out so much. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I'll probably be able to get that tin linen pretty quickly. Just need uh, <laughs> that sucks. I, I had so much linen on me beforehand. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the run here. It's gonna be a decently long run. See you when I get there. Okay, we are entering Knoll territory. A lot of dead knolls around. Which means it might be difficult. Get a tag on old Hogger. Haven't seen him yet. Still got my macro for him. Alright, he's currently dead. This seems pretty central. Oh, he's up. There he is. Use our armor. Let's see how we go. Oh, this is looking good. We're pretty even and I haven't used any skills yet. Oh, this is more than even. This is a slaughter. Hogger. Negasister sends you back to the grave. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> Got him. Oh no, it's all the way back in Goldshire. This is... <laughs> it's gonna be another run. See you when I get there. Sir, I have good news. Hogger is dead. Well met. Ha, ah, well done. I was starting to think no one would take down that monster. Here you are, adventurer. And thanks. That Knoll was giving me a headache the size of Black Rock Spire. Boom, there we go. We're finally full mail. Three extra strength to boot. Um, we're a little mismatching. The colors could be better. The green top and the silver, and then the bronze uh, shoes. So I, I won't. Beggars won't be choosers. And we're still begging at the moment. And, uh, speaking of, uh, it's not really begging, but being of not being able to choose, I can't choose that, uh, we have another run here, so. See you in, uh, Westfall. Alright, so we're back here in Westfall. A couple of little quests that I just want to clean up. Oh, and we have a copper mine. Very close to not needing these anymore. I think um, after this episode finishes up, or maybe when I hit uh, 16, I'll do a big old uh, clean up in Stormwind with professions and stuff like that. Who knows, maybe there's some stuff that I could be making that I don't know about yet. Um, but yeah, killing gnolls is one of the things I want to do. Get some gnaw poles. Gnaw poles, oh my god. Gnoll paws. What is wrong with my brain? Perhaps this isn't the best place to do it though. These are quite low level. We'll give it one more shot just for benefit of the doubt. Ch 
chances are if this asks us to kill any other type of gnolls later on, we might be able to double up on it. Okay, so 50% drop rate so far. Confident I can take two if I have to. Three I could probably do, but I would rather not. I think that would just be a little bit greedy. A 66% drop rate so far. This is really going to start pushing my math skills. Oh, that is uh, 3 out of 4. That's 75% chance. Not chance. 75% so drop rate so far. This is probably going to be our time where we've got to kill uh, fight 2 at once. Um, maybe we'll try to kill this 13 first. Oh, I should have saved that stun in case this runs into the other pack. Lucky for us. I did not go in that direction. I also recall, um, killing fields. Okay. I do remember it having green um, green quest rewards. Fortunately, oh, that's better. Unfortunately, um, those are not either of those items are not items. Yeah, it's a chest and pants. Neither of those uh, have our names on them. Twelve, eleven, and eleven. I guess this is possible. Um, and we can jump down and run if we have to. Got all our shit. Let's roll. Stun the highest level. And. Oh! <laughs> Got that one. That's gonna be hard to loot. This guy runs on low health. I was gonna let him run. Okay, so we can officially take on three. Uh, two of which were green, so um, it's not the biggest achievement. Can't imagine doing that without our axe, though. Three more pours. Um, we are all out of knolls in this spot, though. There's more over there. So yeah, we're going to do these knolls, we're going to do the Harvest Watchers, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to do all these Defias uh, quests. Mm. And I'd prefer not to fight three again if I had the choice not to. We've got, uh, oh yes, we're getting close to the uh, 10 linen cloth again. Oh, level 42 rogue has died in Stranglethorn Vale. It's not showing up in the death log. I think I can get this with uh, either by himself or only with this. If we get all four... Got a clear exit, uh, clear escape path. Oh. That is all four. We're out. We're not going to hit it because that will help. Uh, we want these to reset. All right. That's fine. Looks like we've got a high level one over here. Higher level hopefully means um, increased drop rate. Although that, that drop rate was uh, quite good to be fair. Can't complain about that. That's below mine. Where are we? Oh, it's over there. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I really didn't want to fight you, but it doesn't look like I have a choice. Good old fat heal after this. Here's another paw. Haven't tried our rank 3 heal yet. Oh, ho, ho. that's got to be a good uh, three quarters of a health, uh, full health bar. That high level guy still hasn't shown up in the death log. Wonder if there was something weird going on there. What am I seeing? I'm seeing a copper vein and a tin vein. They must be underground in the mine. Um, which is one of the places we're going next. I'd like to say this is going to get us to level 15 by the time we're done here. Considering we started on 13, I think that's pretty good. It's been a very busy day for me. Um, at one stage, it was kind of looking like I wasn't going to get a chance to play today. Smuggler. We do need to kill smugglers. see if any of these other quests actually... Ooh, yes, yes, yes. We want these. Why would you put strength on cloth pants? Why, Blizzard? Um, yeah, these boots look very nice. They got my name all over them. More smugglers. I know I'm going to be going into this mine, and I don't want to have a situation... But let's say we kill these two smugglers now, right? We're like, oh... Getting ahead on smugglers, this is great. Maybe we get over there, we've got to kill more smugglers to get to... Oh. We're not... We uh, might be pushed off. Smuggler, smuggler, smuggler. Getting a bit low here. isn't showing this. Where is the quest? Oh, because it's not tracked, obviously. Yeah, so we need trappers as well. You wouldn't want to have to kill, like, you finished on your smugglers, then you've got to kill, like, ten smugglers to get the rest of the trappers. It does seem like there's a good mixture here. There is another trapper over there. And I am going to go claim his life. without pulling that uh, level 15 in there. Definitely seems like there's more smugglers than trappers here, though. This is the sixth deadliest enemy in Azeroth right here. The Harvest Watcher. They're immune to quite a few things that could potentially contribute to why uh, they're so deadly. Definitely did not enjoy fighting them on my uh, Warlock. Immune to fear. Not seeming like a big challenge uh, for me at the moment though. What I will say though about the, that, uh, the deadly rate. You come here and you're like level 10, level 11. And they're right at the entrance. Uh, to the zone, and these are like 14, 15. That's probably a bigger reason why um, they have such a high kill rate. People accidentally aggroing them. 
I know I accidentally aggroed one. I was like running out the back and it came on chasing me from miles away. Um, just because I was so much lower level. Let's not pull anything else while we're fighting this. Of these pumpkins. Nearly as tall as Nega Sister. I reckon I could fit inside one of those. Oh, what do we have here? Those look like s strength stamina. The perfect gloves. Wonder what they're worth. I don't care. I'm using them. Well, they match the top, they don't match the pants. Besides the fashion, you can't uh, argue with the armor and the stats. Stamina and strength. Can't get much better than that. So now we're at, we're a little bit under halfway. This is level 15. Let's get a little extra heal off here. And a stun. Let's make this as easy as we can. The stun's actually 30 mana in comparison with Judgment's 15. Two Judgment's, one stun. Let's do another heal. Will we have to do a little drink here? I don't think so. These level 15 ones are uh, definitely harder. Yeah, let's... Let's get nice and safe here. Fully heal up. And then we'll have a quick... Uh, quick ice cold milk. Don't know how it's still ice cold. It's been sitting in my bag for... Many hours. As I've been travelling around. I guess I did just come from the dwarf area though, so that might contribute to the temperature of the milk. Counting how many times I need to hit this now. That's four, I think. Still, if our calculations were correct, we needed to hit ten times to make um, Seal of the Crusader worth it. Still quite a bit short of that. Nine to go. Again, as always, making sure we're not getting double pulls. Chew, that's a silver there. It's good money. Probably should have done a little baby heal there, but I wanted to grab this while the bird was away. It's only 14 as well, which will make it that little bit easier. What's this bird doing in the middle of the field? I feel like you're not supposed to be here. He is really guarding this guy. That is a really long uh, aggro radius in comparison. I guess it is two levels higher. Come the dodges and the parries. Six to go. So this is seven hits to kill. 
going to do a little experiment. I'm pretty confident it'll either be the same or worse. We're going to put the Crusader Aura on. Or Crusader Seal. Doesn't count. So this one. Three. Okay, so it's going to take six hits. But I do feel like it took longer. Oh, let's just get this done with. So what's that? 14... Maybe it's doing more now. Let's try that again. Oh, another 14, excellent. We're also missing uh, might. Fourteen and thirteen up from what though? Is it like nine? So it's like four to five extra per hit. This is a 43. So it's 13 to 14. Now let's try it back the way we were doing it. Let's kill that 14. Yeah, <laughs> look how far away we are. Holy crap. So it is 9. It's 9. 9 or 10 or just 9? <clears throat> Nine to ten, okay. I honestly think just sticking with righteousness is probably still better. If you're able to get a um, righteous judgment off the bat without expending any more mana. I think that would be when it's, um, if you're doing a fresh cast, that makes it way more even. But oh, all right, I'm going to run out, so might as well do it this way. Very low mana. If something did go wrong here, we might uh, struggle a little bit. Luckily, nothing is going to go wrong. Because we're always very careful. One to go. Final robot. No easy 14. There's an easy 14. So it's 33 damage versus a 4 to 5 per hit extra. Honestly, it probably ends up being about the same. Bag's face is still not too bad. Let's go and experiment with uh, these defies. This will be the last quest we do today. Plenty of trappers and smugglers out the front, that's what I want to see. We don't want to go in if we don't have to. Oh, that's a big hit. This is a big chain as well, um, killing these guys. So even if this is a, a green quest, it's worth doing to open up what comes after. Although I do not enjoy fighting the, uh, the mages with the fireballs, those things hit like an absolute truck. Um, this is looking like a double pull. This doesn't, though. I mean, they're a decent distance away from each other. I'm just going to go in expecting it's going to be a double pull. And if it isn't, then that'll be a pleasant surprise. We're going in expecting the worst. Prepare for the worst, you'll never be surprised. Well, he's a ranged character anyway. We've got to go in. 
Oh, he's resisted the stun. Great start. As long as we're above 50% here. Oh, what did I just do? I just fat fingered the uh, <laughs> another healing potion. I'll tell you why. It's because I'm used to E having a different function um, in the Wrath of the Lich King uh, character that I play. I'm used to using E a little bit more than I am here, where I'm basically never using it. Um, we just don't have enough abilities to, to put on there. Maybe I'll um, move this along here. Probably never going to get another shitty potion. Alright, you're coming right to the entrance, I'll take that. Pop a vein, just inside. We are being extremely mindful of respawns here. This is another one of those places. Um, it's very easy to die. Okay, I don't, I don't like Mike being there. I already couldn't find it just then. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Saved my judgment just for that. And a treasure chest. You're by yourself. I can take you. goodies are we going to have in here? <laughs> uh, the answer is nothing. Nothing good. Hey, the shoe's over a silver to sell. It's not bad. Do we have our eye on that uh, 70 silver mace? Where did that little rat go? Do we have any respawns out here? I'd much prefer to stay on the outside, if I could. But, I also don't have all night. So we're going to go in very carefully. Oh, we've got both. Well equipped to deal with this though. Oh god. It's fine, it's a good time to trap. What I need to do is keep an eye out for that rat. So that was a patrolling rat. Now if that respawns and I'm doing a fight here, that could uh, that could be real bad news. I'm gonna do a big fat heal here. Not seeing any mining nodes. Oh yeah, there's one over there. Oh, I, I, I know exactly where that is. Come on. Don't really want to find these if I don't have to. Um, and, oh, it's a tin vein. All right. It's a little bit rarer. We'll go the extra mile to get it. Is this where it just... No, it doesn't start just being rats. Cobalt, sorry. This guy is definitely a lot harder to kill. Taking any chances. Um, I guess we'll pull this out. Oh, where did you come from? Okay. We can do this, but this is definitely more than... A bit off more than we wanted to bite off here. It needs to be on a swivel now. We're fine as we are. Any more? We'll be in trouble like so. We are just going to slowly start backing out in case we need to. We have plenty of oh shit buttons left. That banana he just dropped, we are immediately going to eat that. And have some milk. 
get our health up ASAP and we're going to claim this uh, tin vein stay in frosty oh, I didn't need to refresh that and a judgment oh, don't need it Oh, we're not going to have bag space. Oh, we just do. I guess I should start thinking about what we're going to be dropping. I need a um, order by value button. And that's it. So, I would imagine we definitely have respawns out the front. Although I did see someone um, around about here. That person might have already cleaned up the ones out the front. Why is it yellow? Oh, this is the messenger. This is... This, he either drops a quest or... There's definitely something to do with this guy. I remember it. I hope he drops a quest. Oh, he is real fast. He is real fast. Holy crap. Please have a quest item. He doesn't, damn. Something, I'm going to pick up a quest later on, and I'm going to be kicking myself for uh, killing him now and not then. Oh, level 30 warrior. Rest in peace. That's a big one. Nothing really I could do. Like, let's say I leave him alone. I'm not going to have time to get up to that quest tonight, so um, either way... I'm not getting that kill. It's good to know though, so on the old server there was just so many people around constantly that I, I never even saw this guy. Like, people had to camp his spawn point just to see him. It's a timely level up. So we need five more trappers. Three more smugglers. Picked up the double here. This is going to be just that little bit easier again after the level up. resisted my judgment. This is going very well. So we still need more trappers and smugglers. So it's... I was saying before, I'm glad I didn't um, kill those extra smugglers. It's gonna, this is going to work out really well. Also got a talent point. I'll have to have a quick look at uh, which one's better to get. I feel like it's quite handy to have this one, where it allows you to heal even if someone's uh, whacking away on you. But at the same time, if you're planning the way you're playing correctly, you shouldn't really ever be in a situation like that where you um, have to pump yourself with heals. You can never plan for everything. I'll, I'll do a little reference um, on the internet, see what it's recommended so to go with. We can take out uh, two of these guys before we get to half health. So we can definitely do three now, as long as they're those levels. Dead Gauntlet. It's actually going to be... Why am I not getting rid of this jer good... Ah, the jerky. It's going to be sad once I've got a green item in every slot. This means, um... Upgrades are just not going to be coming as frequently as they are now. It's much harder to replace a green than it is a white or grey item. That was the last smuggler. I'm pretty sure I saw a trapper out here. There are a couple of veins there. 
sure there will be more. We're not going back into that cave if we don't have to. Or tunnel. Um, oh, we didn't get all the bandanas, but that's fine. There's going to be follow-up quests to kill more of these defiers. They are going to drop bandanas as well. Greetings. Good work, friend. You have earned your pay well. Who knows, perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. For the Alliance. Need help? Well done, adventurer. My scout witnessed your valiant acts. You are proving yourself quite well so far. A band of vicious Defias pillagers has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and the Alexton Farmstead. The People's Militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately, adventurer, and make the Light's presence known in Westfall. The Gold Coast Quarry is near the shore, to the west of the tower. As the next step of your training, I want you to kill 15 of those foul Defias pillagers and 15 Defias looters. Well done, adventurer. With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the people's militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Please accept this in recognition of your tireless efforts. The band of wretches responsible for driving the good people of Westfall from the land call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan of thugs. We need to know who heads up the cartel and where they are hiding out. In Lakeshire, in the inn, there is a rogue by the name of Wiley who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in the Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwyn, and find out what you can. I can do that, boss, just not today. Not today, unfortunately. Um, well, we're, at, we're at that 70 silver uh, moment. I think we hit level 16 and see how we go. And we'll consider... Good going back and buying that weapon. Alright, so that, that was uh, pretty good progress. It doesn't actually look like all of these guys dropped the bandana. Oh, maybe it does. Actually, yeah, yeah, it looks like it does. So we're, we're definitely going to get that bandana quest done at the same time as we do those other ones. Um, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to continue doing these ones in Westfall. And once we start getting into the orange stuff or the two hard stuff, we'll go back to Loch Medan, do a couple more of those. Um, but yeah, that was pretty fun. Felt uh, reasonably efficient. And hope you're here for uh, the next time we come out and see the immortal Negasister. Continue on without dying again. See you later.